Hi everyone. As you might already know, Amelia has a brand new Zoom integration and many of our customers would like to take advantage of it and turn their businesses from on-site to online. Uh, we wanted to walk you through with our developer Milos, who will help us understand how to connect Amelia and Zoom and accept bookings for online appointments and events. Hi Milos. Hi everyone. Please, can you tell us what type of an online appointments and events can we uh, schedule with Amelia? Yes, you can schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings and you can schedule group meetings. So this integration is available for both appointments and events. Awesome. And do we need a Zoom, a Zoom account uh, to do this? Yes, you will need Zoom account that will be connected with Amelia. You can use free account, but in that case, Zoom has some limitations for their free accounts, such as maximum duration of 40 minutes of meeting and meetings, meetings can be recorded. If this is not a deal breaker for you, you can use free Zoom account with Amelia, of course. Oh, awesome. So basically, if we have just one employee, it's totally fine if we use a free Zoom account for meetings yes. under 40 minutes, of course. Yes, if you are using basic plan on Zoom, then you will have you will uh, be able to connect just one employee. And if you have uh, some other plan, then you will be able to link multiple employees with Zoom users. Awesome. And can you quickly show us how do we connect Amelia with Zoom? Yes. So first, you will need to have uh, and create a Zoom account. After that. Uh, you will need to go uh, to uh, App Marketplace, and from there you will have to build an application. Uh, now we will have to create a GWT application, but uh, I have already created, so I don't have create button over here. But it's very easy process, so uh, I will show you what you need to enter to Amelia to connect uh, these two. Uh, so first you will have to copy Zoom API key from here to Amelia integration settings and under Zoom tab you will have to copy this API key here and then you will have to copy API secret mm -hmm. to client secret field over here. Now when you save the settings, Amelia is connected to Zoom so after that, you will have to go to employees page and then choose which employee you will you want to connect with Zoom user. For example, we will connect this uh, user. Now after this, uh, after you enable Zoom, you will have a Zoom user uh, drop down where you can choose a Zoom uh, user. Now when I uh, connect this uh, user and save this employee it will be uh, connected to zoom user awesome so we should uh, tell our customers that they should make sure that uh, employees who are providing the online service is uh, connected to zoom users so it will work properly and uh, can you tell us can we enable zoom for just particular service uh, particular events or is that all from one. Yes, on each service you have a uh, you have a settings where you uh, toggle button to easily switch on or off this integration. So mm -hmm. you will have to go to service page, mm -hmm. and then on service settings, under settings tab, you will have uh, uh, this option to easily switch on and off Zoom for this service. Awesome. And uh, how do we send links to our customers and employees to attend the meeting or event? You can uh, send link in notification for both for a uh, customer and employee. You just need to put placeholder in notification for Zoom link. So these links are different for employees and customers. For employees, you will have to add placeholder that is replaced with Zoom host link. Mm -hmm. And for customers, you will have to add placeholder that is replaced with a Zoom join link. Awesome. And what about events? Is there any differences? Yes, there is a difference between placeholders for appointments and events. 
for appointments, there is just one link for each appointment and for events. If they take place in several days or several time slots, the link for each time slot will be sent in notification. Okay, awesome. And what else should we mention to our users? I think that uh, it is important for them to know that they don't need to remove that uh, placeholder from notifications if some of their services are not online. So can you quickly uh, show us uh, how do we achieve that? Yeah, this is a frequent question. Uh, remember that I said that you have one on and off button for enabling or disabling Zoom for each service. Uh, if Zoom is disabled for a specific service, the link will this link uh, this placeholder uh, will not be uh, sent in notification for for that service, uh, even though the placeholder is uh, still in the notification. Okay, so they just need to make sure that the toggle is off uh, for those meetings who are on site, and uh, the um, link in notifications will not be sent at all to those cost customers. Yes, exactly. Thank you very much, Milos. And uh, I hope this, uh, this is helpful for all of you guys who wants to accept online appointments and events. And uh, I can uh, invite you to visit our demo websites. We have four different demo websites on our uh, site where you can try yourself um, all Amelia's functionalities, both on the front end and back end. Thank you once again and see you. Bye. Bye.